na tusukufukuza huko kama sisi vya not taxpayer disrupted an otherwise peaceful barrier of a 23 year old young man in the Muru Bibilioni area. The second deputy president of the Republic of Kenya, His Excellency Brigadi Gashagwa, whose security was totally withdrawn two days ago, was present. Together with him was myself, the senator of the great county of Kiambu, Senator Seki, the Senator of Kajiado, Honorable Member uh, MP for Kajiado North, Onesmas Boroyo, is here. John Kagusha, the Honorable Member of Parliament for Mokoroini, the local MCA, Jabez Mku, and a host of other leaders, former MP of Lemuru, Honorable Mwadi, and the current MP for Lemuru, Honorable Kirabu who deserted the VIP tent before the attack. The over 300 goons who started arriving in the barrio, meet with the program, attacked the VIP tent, H.E. regarding Ashagwa was seated, where the deputy president was seated. They demolished the tent and threw seats at regarding Ashagwa, the deputy president, and his entourage. On exit, more goods attacked Gashagwa, attacked Gashagwa's convoy, seriously, damaging his cars and injuring a number of people. The goods were armed with stones, hangars, and axes. Apparently, the goods were transported to the venue with clear instructions to harm and possibly assassinate His Excellency regarding Gashagwa. There is a clear scheme to further intimidate and harm Rigadi Gashagwa, his aides and MPs who accompany him for public events who are his allies. Further to that, we are quick to note that even our own security is not guaranteed because every MP who was there, every senator who was there, their cars were attacked. These events point to a more coordinated scheme to precipitate bloodshed and anarchy targeted to Mount Kenya region and across the country. The drill is to ensure that Mr. Uh, the drill is to ensure that Mount Kenya leaders are facilitated to precipitate a conflict amongst themselves, fight against themselves, harm each other, and violently silence themselves. Further to these events, we are worried about the whereabouts of former MP for Lemuru, Honorable Peter Mwadi, who has been abducted by the infamous Subaru Kaz as he fled from the same funeral. And it's good to note that even the MCA is also suspected to have been abducted as well. And now we are begging the following questions. 
Why was there no presence of police officers in the event where His Excellency Rigathi Gashagua was attending? And yet, he is a, a VIP in this country who uh, should be protected. Why was H.E. Rigathi Gashagua security with the drone two days ago? Why did our colleague, the MP for Limuru, on Kirago, sit away from the VIP tent, which would later be attacked? Why was why has Hon Peter Mwadi been abducted at this uh, particular time? And now here we are, of course, demanding for his uh, release. I want to have uh, my brother here, Honorable uh, Mesmas Gogoyo, uh, with the last part. Now, we demand the following. Honorable Mwadi, the former MP for Limuru, be released immediately His Excellency Rigadi Gashago, the second deputy president and family, be given full security round the clock and his security be guaranteed as it is in the constitution and by, and by the state. And this is not a favor but a constitutional guarantee and the state is obligated to do so. Three, a full investigation be conducted by the state over the uh, uh, over the over 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 the security apparatus and sponsors of the Charles and the Mayhem, and we have reported the same matter to the Limuru uh, police station. I personally have reported even to the OCPD, and I have an OB number to that effect. And therefore, we ask that let them do full investigation. For all events attended by Hechiri Gadi Gashagwa be secured without failure. 5. All citizens, including elected leaders, attending events where His Excellency Rigadi Gashagwa is attending be guaranteed of their security. And lastly, the state of lawlessness, which is ostensibly uh, uh, is, an, is, an, is in an ostensibly state sponsored be stopped to ensure that the nation does not generate to anarchy. This statement is signed by the following members. Honorable Karungo Wadangwa, the Senator for Kiambu, Gogoyo Nesmas, MP Kajado North, Honorable John Kagushia, the MP for Mukuroine, Honorable Gadoni Wamushomba, the MP for Gidongori, Senator Medu, the Senator for Nyandarwa, Senator Nyutu from Muranga, Honorable Koimbori, the MP for Juja, Honorable Jude Jomo, the former MP for Kiambu, Honorable Gakuya, the member of parliament for Mpakasi North, Honorable Dennis Waiganjo, Damaris Waiganjo, um, the Honorable James Jenga, Honorable Ketu Arugoro, and other members that are with us here, and I will give them an opportunity to begin with the Honorable Omoshova. Asante Misana, we are obviously here at the DCI headquarters outside the gates. We have tried to access the DCI headquarters to uh, have a formal engagement with the concerned authorities and they have obviously denied us entry, uh, something that is very, very shocking that elected members of parliament and senators who have the mandate of the people of Kenya with the power of the vote can be denied to access DCI headquarters at this time to follow up on matters that pertain to people's lives. A missing member of parliament, former member of parliament, a father and a husband and a father of children is something that is worrying at this hour. We would want to understand what is going on. Abductions are really back in this country where people cannot go freely to a funeral and go back home. And this is something we wanted to have a conversation with the in charge uh, security officers at the DCI. They have started telling us to go to Nyeri, which is our regional headquarters. And I don't think that is procedural for any member of parliament to be denied to access services at any part of this country. Because even if I'm elected in Gedongori, my Gedongori people are also people who live in Nairobi. So I have a reason to come here to the DCI headquarters to represent people from Gedongori who are in Nairobi. So this is absurd and we can already see what is happening. Abductions are creeping back daily. Our children are being abducted daily. Our leaders now are being abducted. And this is something that we need to flag as Kenyans because it is very, very worrying. The wife to the honorable uh, member for, a uh, former member for Limuru uh, is with us here. She's really traumatized. Even, please come here, mama. Just come around here. Even the children and the grandchildren are here. 
and uh, family, please come. Family are Mwadi and the lawyer, the lawyer to Mweshimua Mwadi, they are here. And they are here to ask the government some questions. What wrong did the Honorable Mwadi do to qualify that kind of mistreatment and indignified manner of arrest? We are told that Honorable Mwadi's car was badly damaged and therefore he moved out of his car because it was very windy to a small car which after 200 meters from where he alighted from his car that was damaged to a small car Subaru's uh, um, blocked his car and he was abducted and right now the wife is here she doesn't know where her husband is the lawyer is here, the children are here and that is why we came in solidarity uh, to speak on behalf of Honorable Mwadi and even that I'm seeing haki on behalf of that father, that husband, and that leader who is missing currently. Asante ni sana. Maybe uh, Mrs. Mwadi can say something. Thank you. But personally, mine is the disturbance because when he left the house, he was going for a funeral. And as a leader in the rural that he has been, he has a right to speak and he has always been given a chance to speak like other leaders. So why abducting? What's wrong with he commit? And he was not the only one, he was with so many other leaders. So why insult on him? Why abduct him? Where is he? How, is he? How safe is he? Who can answer all these questions? they can do to the leaders to silence them, to intimidate them, then where are we as common people? Where are we in this country? Mine is a prayer, this is my helper, this is the father of my children, they are here, and they have never been able to come here because it was a shock even when they broke the news. Because all this time he has been in parliament twice, even when he has not been in parliament, he is very active in the new and I do believe you continue serving the people of the new in many different ways. He will still attend you know, but you cannot make it so impossible to do public functions. It is not my So personally I am not just before just before the lawyer speaks, we are live to the the, the information that is coming to us. That the young men who are used to cause mayhem in Limuru, who came in uh, in masks, carrying pockets of stones and many other crude weapons that they carried, we are getting information, reliable information, that those boys are now headed to Embu. And because Embu, there is a function that is planned there tomorrow, and there is one of our colleagues who is coordinating that event, the Honorable Mukonji. We are reliably being informed that the guns are being transported in buses tonight to go and cause mayhem, mayhem in Embu. We want to announce without fear of contradiction, this is our country and we are not going to allow Kenyans to be sleeping in pain and agony. We are not going to allow that we cannot have any farmers meeting anymore because goods are going to be sent by people who feel that they have only one tool left and that is violence. So whatever is being planned in Embu, we are well aware and we are calling upon the security apparatus to make sure the meeting that is supposed to be happening tomorrow for tea farmers in Embu happen under security and the farmers must be protected to air their views and concerns and give their concerns on the bill that is coming, the tea bill that is coming. There are people who are planning mayhem so that they can pass bills against the people's wish. But maybe before we come, uh, yeah. if I were to say just on the wall of the whoever imagines that uh, by instilling fear or by bringing goons and attacking our vehicles, you can see the kind of uh, um, harm that has been done on the members of parliament who are accompanying the deputy president, Gabi Kashiago. They imagine that they will feel our soul. We shall still continue speaking for our people. We shall be there. We shall not keep quiet. Not 
not even abduction, not even attacks on our own selves or even our own families, or the threats that have been done to us as leaders, or the threats that have been done on the person of the president of the who will stop us because our reform is very deep rooted. The only thing is, uh, the government of the day feels that they really want to stop us. The only tool that is available for them to stop us is a bullet. Uh, let me say something short, uh, that uh, we are very shocked that uh, this is happening to our country. Uh, the deputy president, uh, who seems to be their media target, was impeached uh, hardly a month ago, and uh, he's already down. I don't know why they feel so scared by him. Uh, but of course we know that uh, their scheme did not work. We thought that once he was down with the impeachment that uh, he was not going to have any influence. And we know that they are scared, they are shivering, that the deputy president, uh, our second deputy president, continues enjoying massive support with the people of Mount Kenya. We want to tell them that we will not be cowed, we will not be intimidated, and we are ready, and we know that uh, our people in Mount Kenya are being targeted. And that we know for sure. But uh, we will not uh, uh, be shaken. We will continue with our reason. But we want to also talk to our people that when there is an event, let the locals see who is there. And when they see somebody that they suspect, let them put them to account. Let them tell the people there whom they are, what they have come to do, because the people, the goons that were in the Muru, are not locals. These were important, and we are telling our people to also be very vigilant. Very vigilant. Anybody they do not uh, know should actually not be allowed there. And if they want to call that incitement, so be it. But we will not fear, and it is our right. The powers that this government is using to intimidate our people, we are the same people that they give this government the power through our vote. Thank you very much. There is no way he is going to decide on the power. We have resolved that Luto must go. If he is now coming to values, it's an aspect of the strategy. Lapili, I am Mambo, we are on a 2007. It is started exactly this year. And eventually, we ended up the country that was there. This is what from Lima, the Kappa Moja, and we will not allow that to happen. Not from Lima. We have a resolve that it does not matter what kind of uh, intimidation that it brings upon us. It will not stop us from achieving that which we want. Having Mrs. Mwadi here in the night because his husband has been impacted. Nasari Kali is an embarrassment. It's a thing that we never thought we'd ever see again, not under any constitution. And the worst of it all, the mob was in the conversation. And when you see the report, you made a decision about the fire. It's a very, I, I want to join my colleagues and the readers who are here, members of parliament who have presented, in calling for the release of uh, Mwaki. We will be in court with the lawyers, we will join them to ensure that uh, it's released. I also uh, talk to people across the country and especially from the mountain. This is part of the scheme. And it is upon us legal to ensure that the Muto does not succeed. We should have only one result. Muto in the um, I would like to say that as you can see, all my Shimiwa are here, and regardless of where, whichever party, the more you continue to poke our eyes, the more we unite. Abducting a former member of parliament, organizing for goons, is cowardice. Nasasa watu ya Mount Kenya muangalie. Kama mtu si wa area yenu anakuja matanga nyinyi ndio askari. Musi musiakwe uoga na msikubali kununua uoga. 
Huyu jamaa lazima ende nyumbani na hata tuuzie uoga. We want Mwathi. His wife and his children, they want their father and she wants her husband. That is it. And hatutauziwa uoga simple. I want to say this, that Kenya is a constitutional democracy. The right to assemble is a constitutional right. The constitution was not given to us by President Ruto. The constitution was given us by God as individuals. This was not even a political rally. It was a freedom. I want to tell you Kenyans that if they can dare arrest an honorable member of parliament, a former honorable member of parliament, are you surprised today that we have so many sons of our motherlands that have disappeared without trace? We have heard people saying that they don't have any records of anyone that has been abducted. While we know, we know it very clearly that during the Gen Z demonstrations, so many people disappeared and so many have not been seen. We are going to fight this in, this, uh, this in the courts. We know the judiciary is going to, um, is, 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 is actually going to to rule according to the law, we have a right of habeas corpus to demand, and even from this office, and not even DCI can stop us from demanding that Honorable Muadi be released and have failed to his family. And so I want to I want to tell all the Kenyans that this is this is not just a cause for Honorable Muadi. This is not even just a cause for Mount Kenya, but this is a cause for the dignity of humanity. So that no one will come and arbitrarily take away your rights that are guaranteed by the constitution. And so we want to tell everyone that matters, from the highest office in the land to the lowest office in the land, that this constitution we fought for it for very many years. And so we are going to be fighting, we are going to be heading to court, and we are going to make sure that the rights of the Honorable Worthy are respected, not just respected, but those who are enjoined to ensure that those rights are observed, they do their job and they must do it, otherwise they leave and we get the right people in these offices. Okay. Uh, I think uh, I want to remind uh, our president, Mr. Ruto, to remember very well how we can paint for you, uh, how we, we stood with you when you we were being replaced by uh, the former regime. And all we knew by then is that we uh, were going to be the best president. We know the actions, there will be no extra judicial events. And uh, so far, you can see all what you said were lies. The treatment you have given to Mr. Machaco, uh, who campaigned for you day in, day out, I remember very well. Contributed a lot of his money to have your campaign. And then, if you can go to the extent of Islam so that Yashagua can be embarrassed, honestly speaking, Wali Mungu, are you where would you move up? That's my would you move up? Now, you know, the man in Unafanya, Utalipa, the Hapa Duniani, the Lipia Hapa Duniani. Tena ni kuambie watu wa Mount Kenya na watu ya Gema in general ukiwatesa ndio wanakuja wote pamoja na hii resolve unaona saa hii sasa wewe ndio umeshikanisha mlima wacha vile mlikuwa nasema kachagu anasikanisha mlima wewe Ruto ndio umeshikanisha mlima vile tumeshikana hatutawachana na tutakutoa asubuhi vile tulikuwa tunasema tukaumira tena Sahi tutatoka mapema ndio wewe uende nyumbani. Sisi tunakuuliza wapi atoke familia aende kwa familia yake. MCA wangu huko ni mungu. Pia bwana mkuu aende nyumbani na tafadhali wale wanakuwa device au wanakaa karibu na wewe ujui hao ndio wamekupoteza. Sisi na kina kachagua ndio tulikuwa marafiki zako za ukweli. Sisi ndio tuliku guide mpaka wewe ukachaguliwa. Sasa wale ambao waliku guide uliwawacha saa hii wewe umepotea. Kona vile umepotea. Na watu hawa wanakuta bei. In Swahili for the just for the benefit of the media that has just joined us. Because we have done uh, 
we came here to this year as members of parliament, senators, most of them who had accompanied the second deputy president regarding Ashagwa, to your funeral service in Bibirioni, Lemuru constituency. We came here for two things. One, we are asking the whereabouts of one former MP of Lemuru, Honorable Peter Mwad, was who was abducted today when the body was still going on. Today, we witnessed something that nobody has ever imagined. That the second deputy president, where he was seated at the VIP tent, about 200 to 300 goons who never came from uh, Limur. They were ferried. They came by buses. And we even have videos of them getting money from some uh, those who are organizing it. And that's why we had come here. Because we have to look for justice. For one, regarding Ashagwa, our second deputy president. Two, the former MP, Peter Mwadi of Lemur, and the MCA for Bibirioni, Honorable Mku. But when we got here for the first time, the DCI director wants to interview us at the gate. He has, he's asking, what do you want? But we wanted to access the office so that we can give our information, our statement, and he takes notes. When we insisted on getting into his office, he walked away. This is a country that we are living in. That he walked away when the honorable members are here, the people uh, from Kiambu and from all over, because we are here, leaders of today, leaders of yesterday, and also leaders of tomorrow. We were here. So my point is, we want to ask the DCI, please, you know you are the Subaru men, Mr. Mwadi was taken by a Subaru. Please return Peter Mwadi to his house. The wife is here. The children are here. And of course, they want their father and their husband back. Lastly, we want to insist as the Senator of Kiambu and the MPs who are here and the Senators who are here, we will not be cowed. We will not stop. We will go. But I ask the people of Mount Kenya and the people across the country refuse to be misused to harm a brother. Because today, I saw it with my own eyes. They were trying to assassinate one regarding a chapter. They took the metal bus from the tents. They hit his car several times. And they were aiming at the left side of the vehicle. The back left, the seat. But thankfully, he was seated on the right. So today, what we are speaking today, we could be speaking about something different. Today was an assassination attempt for Rugadi Kashagwa. And as the president, and the security, police, it's not a prayer, it's not a request, it's not a privilege. We want you to give back the security to Rugadi Kashagwa that you took two days, and then you organized guns to attack him today, and you tried to kill him today. What a coincidence that you remove the security, then you send goons with metal bars and axes to try to kill Rigadi Gashagwa. We will pray for him, but we will demand for justice. Thank you very much. Hmm. Do you have any questions? But uh, just to the point that has been made by Senator Karongo, the security of the deputy president Rigadi Gashagwa is a constitutional right. He has a right. Well, should we can a can address the cameras, can um, He has a right as a person and as a, as, as, as a leader <coughs> who has served this republic to the level of the deputy <laughs> president of the Republic of Kenya. Even if he was not in office, he has a right as a, as a Kenyan. Number two, we actually would wonder how would the, um, a funeral of the magnitude of a funeral that has six, seven members of parliament, the deputy president, Bigazi Gashagwa, not even one single police uh, policeman was there to, uh, to offer security and the security team was aware well aware that the deputy president is, uh, is, is attending finally one of Mwadi has served the Muru constituents it is not the first time that he is attending uh, funerals in the Muru, uh, in, in the Muru. how is it how would the uh, state feel that his wife uh, nine in the, in the night is here looking for him we do not even know where he is we were, we were here to ask because it is government uh, big where is he what is the uh, what is the um, where is this where is
Minister of the Local Government here, the reform of His Excellency, the Deputy President, the Governor Gatabo, to speak for the people of Kenya, is even becoming stronger. The more you include him, the more the reform becomes strong. Maybe if you have a question, you want to just answer one or two questions, then uh, we call it a night. It's becoming, Moshimua, it's becoming highly dangerous to attend events in Mount Kenya. Where are we headed? Sorry? It is becoming dangerous uh, from the look of things to attend events in Mount Kenya. I will not say that we it has become it. dangerous to attend events in Mount Kenya. Mm -hmm. Had the Bulls not interfered with that ceremony, the ceremony was going on very well. The ceremony was actually very peaceful. The people who disrupted are the six sports at Bulls. It was not that uh, there was anybody who was fighting in the, in, the, in the ceremony, there was anybody who was fighting in the funeral. It is the six sports at Bulls that, uh, uh, that, that made it dangerous to be in such a, uh, in such a setting. Maybe to add on what Moshimeo has said, um, it has been said that eternal vigilance is the price of liberty. This is a call to the citizenry of this country. Today it is Moshimeo uh, Mwazi. Tomorrow they will come for you in your bedroom. Hear me, citizen. None of us is safe if any one of us is unsafe. And therefore, this is a call. You can call it incitement or, or whatever it is. This is a call for all of us to rise and defend our constitution. Not for the sake of, of, of Honorable Mwadi, but for the sake of your own very self. You woke up, you voted for this. Please fight for it. I'm saying this as a lawyer. We lead from the front. But we want the goodwill of each and every citizen of this country. We are especially grateful for our honorable members because these are the ones that make our laws. But they make our laws, but the only people that can make these laws realize its effect. It is we, the citizen, because the constitution begins with a preamble, we the people of Kenya. So we the people of Kenya must arise, we must defend our constitution, we must fight for it because the power of the gun cannot be greater than the power uh, of the people. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you very much. It's very unfortunate that we wanted to have a dialogue with the church security here at the DCI. We have been together and 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 we have been together. We have been together and 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 we have been together. And indeed, all of them have run away. Yeah, they have run away. Waliku and Apiti at gate gate two, ille. And it is very unfortunate if leaders like ourselves fighting for the rights of other leaders, we can be denied access to the DCI. What about you, Mwananchi Wakawaida? Mwashimia, brief briefly in for Inoro for Inoro TV. For Inoro TV. Kikuyu, yeah. Ah, okay. Eh, you do one bit, then I do one bit. Mudahnya wah muda tu ya, wah ini tiada nada itu tu na ya dorete. Tuk kita ni udah wah aku sedia kihotoki ya, mungkin semua wah pita muadi. Oriya wah tu re tu mai tamere kuriya re muru. Oriya orang tu eka ni ni tiru mateka akiuma madiko kuriya re muru. Madiko Maria masoki ramu tu eka ni kuagi ya haro. Gari siari katewa kashagua na bodi gari siari katewa kashagua ni mati hakiyo. Gari ya karobo adangu ane ha ha. Gari ya kagusia FP wa mukoro ine ni ya baku magara imaha ha. Gari ya mweshimu wa wakogo ya wakori ya kaji ya dosa u. Imaha ha gari ya kene hura gimo na mweshimu wa nakete na bawa kene ya likiru wa uru. Na nekumana joka nerera na neyu makori ya le muru. Na le uto uke ita goko nito bende toko wa naga kumenya kana obu wa negu wa gati baga kenya kwa yete na kana obu niko furu yu uto kwa uwa liya na bere. Le uto wa kenyita na ijua tateti. Aria mani tagerera mwe na sio wa deputy presidenti wito ni gadewa agashagua todo tu kigia da kuiwa kudwara horo na todo diko igerei hito kita ni ara tunye tu forizi si akasi yote umoja reuni tu ameni yake kila tu maga tu niwa forizi ara tu niwa forizi ni gada adare kero idare kari ya bere yuma kuri ya muru na nethemeri ya kui kare tani ya yapi ya kudare kero suma si aruto ato maji ya kuhoro na suma isio na bote gadi igerei si ni gadewa agashagua ni mahora giro mo kumono ona mwe mazi bita. Ibuatnya,ibuatnya,ibuatnya,ibuatnya,ibuatnya,ibuatnya,ibuatnya,ibuatnya,ibuatnya,ibuatnya,ibuatnya,ibuatnya,ibuatnya,ibuatnya,
twarega eh twaga nguraro iria andu acio mekwandaga gutumeiria kana gutume. Ithuye tuoka kwa DCI umarega gututhikiriria tondu tugukite kumenya matwarire hona bupita mwathi ko. Tondu kuratwika mamunyitire mamuikia subaru na tutire turamuona tutire turamenya kuriari. Mutumia wake haha ciana ciake ci haha maroria baba eko. Na director wa investigation ato kora haha arenda gutuuriria ciuria nja ona ndai na karamu akia ndike na nigo tukiringi no riria ona tutingi mwira maundu mau mautuija no kuma uma nathi na twaingatu na ithe turauga tutigotigithiria tugucoka guku ringi no tuguthie na mbere na kwaria na tutigirire andu aitu ama ut Kenya na bururi bothe handu waruma dirikari ihotorete na niraheire nya na kemakiria magana matatu mbesa nyana ke icio ru ciye wira ciri to ili thiururukaga haria hothe rigathe ari nigetha mathukie mishamanio ni irari ho ni thirikari muthenya wa rucio mabangite guthi guthukia mishamanio wi ebu marikia hau mathukie mishamanio ngiwi muranga marikia hau mathio ngiwi na ikumi ni turamenya no ithe tubite atiriri mugutuhura mwada gutura muturage no murigana karungo kangi no gagoka nigetha turuire bururi bitu no tutigwitigira Sisi tigeni sisi na tutaendelea kuongea. We will never be caught. What is the status of the deputy president? Aliumia. Deputy president nie ni joy. Tukitikana nake. Ni agura dire. Na daishi onokiaria nake ni uraigua. No ni toko mu report yo muthenya wa rushu. Tondu mahiga ni maikirio garine yake. Juma ni shikirio garine yake. Adwashio matiuma na itheru. Na mwe tule siria ni polizi Ale mwe kire te guwa siya raia Toru kuku kuma na nye kito Kula kiyo na mahiga mara umako Ito ni nye kire 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 haro No mwe kukete mefa kete Na target yu marigadi waga chakua Idwe tukorela yu kudiri Toma tiku menyaka ya gari ni Kana yu kire te gari ni Kuku natura ukane ya te Rigadi waga chakua mumu hoere Na deko guwa yo ha Deko kia na guwa ya Nwe kudi na abe kumira kura adu wa mouth kenya na adwa Kenya kana mouth Kenya ni mawitero mwagudi na abele na kwenye itana Negatha tutikiri na etuwa tumekombua yu nchi yetu Ito odori uwa adha niuri ya wikuwa Tuwa ato tuwa na wala kwa gini Asante Thank you mulo Asante kuna Asante